Great day for baseball here at Drysdale Field in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. Turns, it helps when you turn the mic up, John. John Jordan, SID for Flagler here to my right. Got a couple of games going today, a nine-inning fair to start things off. Lenore Ryan has made the trip down here from North Carolina. I don't know what the weather's like up there, but I guarantee you it can't be any better than this. Ernie Banks will be thrilled to death on a day like this. That makes me old. I understand. But we've got the lineup for the Bears from Lenore Ryan. Leading off is Blake Bean. He's the left fielder. Batting second is Cole Lekowski. Leskowski, excuse me. He is the second baseman. The DH is batting third. That's Cole Stanford. Tyler McPeak, the first baseman, bats fourth. Batting fifth, the right fielder, Owen Blackledge. Batting sixth is the shortstop, Zach Evans. And batting seventh, the catcher, Bryce Stober. Batting eighth, the center fielder, Kai Holiday. And batting ninth is the third baseman, Garrett Sanner. Pitching today for Lenore Ryan is Dylan Chopra. His first start, actually, both these teams have played exactly one game. You probably figured that out. I'll give you the defensive lineup for the Saints here in a moment. The pitcher is Cooper Smith getting the start. He's going to face a left-hander and Blake Bean. And the first pitch is swung on and hit in the air. Right center field, and the center fielder, Bryce Fitzgerald, makes the catch. What was game time, John? 104 on the number. Good good guess. It's not, it's not supposed to be a guess, but they got it right. He got it right. That'll bring up Cole Laskowski, the second baseman, with one away. Wind blowing in from left field. Just a gentle breeze holding the flag out at about a 45-degree angle. Got a lot going out here at the sports, con sports complex today. Softball, lacrosse, baseball. Pitches inside. He did offer, though, according to the home plate umpire. It is a two-man crew. I probably have their names somewhere. We hope we don't have to refer to them. Yeah, even umpires will tell you it's best if they're not noted during a game. One ball, one strike with one out. The pitch is just off the plate outside, two and one. Cooper Smith, the pitcher, is listed at 6'2", 190, a junior. A junior college transfer from Ventura College in beautiful California, which I understand now is up to their neck in water from all the rain they've had. That's a foul ball. Count two balls, two strikes. Cooper's hometown, Tallahassee, Florida. So he's had a lot, a couple of long walks to make. California and back to... Beautiful St. Augustine. The 2-2 pitch. He has the sign. The delivery is swung on and popped up. Again, right center field. And again, Fitzgerald under it makes the catch. Two away. That'll bring up the number three hitter, Cole Stanford, with Tyler McPeak, the cleanup hitter on deck. Cold is the DH today. The junior, right-hander, and he takes the first pitch. Ball one. That pitch, uh, off-speed pitch, did he swing? He did not, according to the first base umpire. The 2-0 count as the lefty winds and delivers, and it's hit hard right to the third baseman, Taylor Clapp, who throws the first, and a nice pick over there by Luke Wellborn. And the side is retired. 
a three up and three down inning for the Bears in the top of the first. This is Flagler College Baseball. All right, bottom of the first inning coming up, and the Saints will send to the plate first Trey Newland, the left fielder. Batting second is Mason Gray, the shortstop. Batting third, the first baseman, Luke Welburn. In the cleanup spot, the third baseman, Taylor Clapp. Batting fifth is center fielder, Bryce Fitzgerald. Batting sixth is the DH, Donovan Garcia. Batting seventh is second baseman, Matthew Burke. Batting eighth, the catcher, Jackson Wentworth. And batting ninth is the right fielder, Caden Krusak. So Trey Newland, a senior, steps in. On the mound for the Bears is Dylan Chopra. Or Chopra, excuse me. There's no R there. First pitch is ball one. Quick wind up and delivery, ball two. The 2-0 pitch is swung on right back to the pitcher. Nice one hop plate, flips underhand to first, and there's one away. That'll bring up Mason Gray. Mason, a junior. From Lake City, Florida, to Columbus High School. Swing and a miss. Pitch one, strike one. Both teams starting left-handers today on the mound. One one pitch. Fouled off into the net. So a ball and two strikes. And the one two pitch is hit into the nope, popped up. It's gonna be foul toward the bare bullpen. Count remains, one ball, two strikes with one out. Pop that one up the other side. Looks going to carry out a play, and it does, into the Flagler bullpen. That is a call, strike three. Two away. Now 
And that'll bring up Luke Wellburn, the third sophomore, third baseman, or first baseman. He takes the first pitch. Ball one. That pitch is popped up. Left, left center. And uh, left fielder. Bean makes the catch out there in left center. And the side is retired, a three up and three down inning for the Bears. And one inning is complete. We are tied at zero. Top of inning number two. Stepping to the plate is Tyler McPeet, the senior. First baseman. Batting in the cleanup spot today for Lenore Ryan. And the first pitch is low and away, ball one. And the 1-0 pitch. Outside, ball two. Working from the windup. 2-0 pitch. Got a piece of him. A hit better, and he goes to first. So a runner on with no outs for the Bears. Owen Blackledge at the plate now. Junior right fielder. Had a good night last night. He was two for three. Ball, no strikes, throw to first. That's my favorite thing, John, to throw to first. Can't Just can't see it enough. The 1-0 pitch is got the outside part of the plate right at the knees. Nice pitch. Strike one. Big cut on an off-speed pitch, and it's one and two. <laughs> one ball and two strikes. Runner has a bit of a lead. Now the throw to first.
count goes to two balls and two strikes. Blackledge, who homered last night, has the count at two and two. Smith from the stretch now, the pitch popped up. Left side toward the line, left field, and the catch is made by Newland, Trey Newland out there for out number one. That'll bring up Zach Evans, the junior shortstop. McPeak takes a two-step lead off first. Eh, make that three now. And a drive into center field. Right to Fitzgerald, who makes the catch. It took one step to his right. And there's two away. That'll bring up the senior catcher, Bryce Strober. Pitches popped up. No, ground ball, excuse me. Third base to throw off the mark. Say again, John. E5. John is the official scorekeeper. I'm just repeating what he says. Actually, we kind of agreed on that, which is fairly unusual. Fairly unusual for us, yes, that's correct. Where is it first and second now? First pitch. To Kai Holiday, the junior center fielder. This is ball one. With two outs, the infield's playing back. Smith delivers and it's low, two balls and no strikes. And the 2-0 pitch is high and outside. Three balls, no strikes. Smith from the stretch. Checks the runner at second. The 3-0 delivery. Strike one. Sober taking all the way there. Three balls and a strike. The pitch inside walked him. Bases loaded. Garrett Sander in the number nine slot in the order, the third baseman, a freshman, will step in, right hand or left hand batter's box. Puts that ball in play, ground ball to second. Burke makes the play, throws the first side, is retired, three runners stranded, and no run score. So one and a half in the books. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. This is Flagler College Baseball.
Four, five, and six in the order up for the Saints here in the bottom of the second inning. We are scoreless at Drysdale Field on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The Osprey are in their nest, at least the one in right field, the one in left field. The nest is gone from left field. Did a little remodeling when they're up there changing the lights. First pitch, strike one, strike two, excuse me. First pitch was strike one, second pitch is strike two, yikes. I got lost there between the birds and the uh, ball game. That pitch is high and outside, ball and two strikes. Taylor Clapp, the junior third baseman. Looking for his first hit here of the weekend. And the one-two pitch. How in the world did that not hit him? I thought sure it had him. The old backdoor breaking ball that didn't break. That's what that was. Yeah, I'm telling you, it looked like it went right through him. Two balls, two strikes. That's in the dirt. No, it's not because there's no dirt out there. It's a carpet. That was a rug burner. That's what that was. Count full. The payoff pitch is grounded off. Foul ball, and it remains three balls, two strikes. Working from the windup, the 3 2. Popped him up. It's going to carry out into right field. Blackledge, whoo. Bit awkward, but he makes a nice play out there in right. And there's one away. That'll bring up Bryce Fitzgerald. The junior center fielder. Big cut on a off-speed pitch. Count even at one ball and one strike. Ball and two strikes. That pitch is fouled into the net. That pitch is low and away. He swings at it. The uh, catcher dropped it, tagged him, and that's out number two. The second strikeout for Dylan Chapa. That brings up Donovan Garcia. Garcia, the DH today. He is a senior. Did not play last night. Foul that off. Up. Oh. What? Popped it into right field. And again, Blackledge makes a catch. So the side is retired, and no run score here in the bottom of the second. After two complete, the score is Norine Bears 0 and the Flagler Saints 0, and this is Flagler College Baseball.
Blake Bean will lead it off for the Bears here in the top of the third inning. Hit a fly ball to center field in his first at bat. It was two for four last night with a run scored. One ball, one strike, pop up to left field carrying. Uh, it was far enough, but it, uh, a little left. The wind's blowing in. Yeah, it must have swirled it. Looked like he hit off the end of the bat. He really carried, though. Another one off the end of the bat hits the screen behind the home plate. Top of the third. We're scoreless. Two balls and two strikes. Got a piece of it, fouled it off. Koleskowski on deck. Pitch outside, full count. That pitch has popped into the screen behind us, in front of us, behind him. Did you ever get one in here, John? Foul ball? Has it? Yeah. That, I was going to say, that screen's pretty high now. That pitch is swung on, hit hard. That was a rocket foul. Count remains three balls, two strikes. And this pie has popped up. Center field. Fitzgerald makes the catch. And there's one away. That'll ring up Cole Laskowski and Cole Stanford on deck. Laskowski 0 for 1, a fly ball to center. Looking for her, his first hit of the weekend. Doubleheader today, second game is seven innings. And then one tomorrow, John? I mean, uh, yeah, one tomorrow and then one Monday? Just tomorrow. Just tomorrow, okay. That's right, that's four, isn't it? I can't, I lost track of which days were which. It was a game yesterday, of course. That's where I got this stat sheet from. I knew somebody had something to do with that. <coughs> See what happens when you give me a year off. One ball, one strike, and one out. That pitch is a nice little breaker there. One ball, two strikes. Well, at my age, you can't remember one year from the next. Come on. <laughs> no, that's true. You're not. Wait, wait they get to be my age. And the one-two pitch is popped up. Shallow left. Newland comes in, makes the catch. Two away. Now that the is number eight, Cole 
That will bring up Cole Stanford, the DH. Had a really good light last night. He was two for five with two runs batted in and a run scored. That's what happens when you hit a home run. You get a lot of extra stats and stuff. First pitch to him, he looked like he was going to bunt, and I don't. he thought better of it, I guess, but the pitch was called a strike. That's pretty interesting to see a guy that's batting in the three hole who hit a home run last night trying to bunt. Your one pitch. Ah, uh, the crowd liked that one. The box, the box seat umpires liked that pitch. The home plate umpire, on the other hand, said ball one. And the one-one pitch. That looked a little better. Ball and two strikes. And nice two hopper to third. Taylor Clapp makes the play. Runs over and tags the bag. And uh, the batter said he thought it was foul. It hit him on, in the batter's box. The home plate umpire said it did not hit him. Let's see what the infield umpire says. The umpire, infield umpire did not see that it hit him, and so he is out. I'm, ju I'm just going by the way they he gestured, John. I, I realize he had really no shot at seeing that. Oh, the Peach Bell Conference is using three-man crew again this year? They only went to that a couple years ago, didn't they? Bottom of inning number three, Matthew Burke will lead it off for the Saints. Burke getting the start at second base today. Looking for his first hit of the weekend. And the first pitch is ball one. So far, Dylan Chapa has faced the minimum through two innings. But he's got a three ball and no strike count on Burke. And make that a 3-1 count. Jackson Wentworth on deck, the junior catcher. Matthew Burke is a senior. And that's strike two, full count. Caden Krisak also due to bat, the right fielder. Should bat in the third spot in this inning. And the 3-2 pitch. Called strike three. That is strikeout number three for Chopra. So Jackson Wentworth will step in. 
junior catcher, one for three last night. This is first at bat today. First pitch, ball one. Big cut on an outside pitch, and it's even at one ball, one strike. One one pitch, right back up the middle, a slow hopper, the shortstop. Evans makes the play, and that's two away. Nice play by Zach Evans. Caden Kresak will step into the left-hand batter's box to face the lefty. Top of delivers first pitch, popped up foul. Pitcher, that's chopped. Chop off the mound, throws to first, and he got him by a step and so, or so. So, so far, Dillon has faced the minimum nine batters through three innings. Score after three is 0-0. Zero, zero. This is the Bears and the Saints, and this is Saints baseball. Leading off for the Bears is Tyler McPeak. First pitch, strike one. Cooper Smith on the mound for the Saints. This is, begins his fourth inning of work, and it's an 0-2 count. Tyler McPeak had a pretty good night last night. He was one for three with two runs batted in and a run scored. As I pointed out, that's what happens when you hit home runs. <coughs> he had one of four home runs for the Bears last evening. He strikes out there for out number one. Blackledge steps in. Right fielder also had a good night last night. He was two for three with a run scored and one run batted in. He drove in himself with a home run. As I mentioned, Lenore Ryan had four homers last night. They scored seven runs, one at 7-2. Big cut on an off-speed pitch. That was a nice pitch. That's a ball and two strikes. Blackledge had a fly ball to left. 
in his first at bat. That pitch is going to drop into left just over the head of the third baseman, Taylor Clapp. Newland Fields throws to second. And there's one away. And a runner at, excuse me, there's one away and a runner at first now. That brings up Zach Evans. Evans walked a couple times last night. He did score a run. But he was 0 for 3. Fouls that pitch off for strike one. That pitch is fouled off. From the stretch, the 0 2 outside, ball and two strikes. Throw over to first. The one two pitch, chop foul. Just got a piece of it. Two balls and two strikes now. That pitch is driven right back up the middle, but a nice play by Burke. He flips to Gray, and that's a double play. So the Saints out of the inning. Top of the fourth is in the books. No score on either side. This is Flagler College Baseball.
Trey Newland will lead it off for Flagler here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Dylan Chapo on the mound for his fourth inning of work for the Saint, for the Bears. Another ball, slow roller right back to him. He throws the first. That's second time he's handled the ball. Two nice plays. And that brings up Mason Gray. Mason struck out his first at bat. That pitch has popped up. Right field toward the line. Blackledge makes the play over there. And there's two away. And that brings up Luke Welburn. First pitch, strike one. Luke was one for four last night. Pops this one up. Looks like the shortstop calls for it. Evans backs up, makes the catch. And through four innings, Mr. Chapa has a no-hitter going. First up for the Bears here in the top of the inning. Stover, a one-pitch ground ball to short. Mason Gray makes a nice play over there, and there's one away. Kai Holiday will step in. Walked his last time up. One for one last night. First pitch, strike one. That pitch is low, and it's ball one, ball strike, and one strike. The one one pitch from Smith is popped foul and it's one ball two strikes. And a one two pitch. A called strike three. How to bring up the number nine hitter, Garrett Sanner. 
Sander grounded out to second his last at bat. Left the bases loaded. Two away. First pitch is swung on. Ground ball to short again. Gray fields it and gets him by a bang bang play at first. That was close. Nice play on both ends as Welburn snags the high throw. So the side has retired a three up and three down inning for Cooper Smith. And we still got no score here after four and a half innings at Drysdale Field. This is Flagler College Baseball. Taylor Clapp will lead it off for the Saints. Dylan Chapo on the mound, working on a perfect game. Mm -mm. Nope. Heck of a job out there. First pitch swinging. Woo! Oh, that was close. A one hopper right into the screen, protecting the Baird bolt, or excuse me, dugout. Yo one pitch, and that's another one, just about the same spot, actually. Yo two pitch is popped into center field. Holiday moves a little to his right, makes the catch, and there's one away. Bryce Fitzgerald will step in with one out. Bryce gets a hand. I'm imagining that's family in the stands over there. Ball one, first pitch. Look how low that Osprey is, John. What? <laughs> one, uh, one of the uh, family Osprey just buzzed through the infield about head high for the shortstop and second baseman. And uh, they both noticed that. I don't know if you watched the one. <laughs> Holy cow. We've got a couple of Osprey nests here at Drysdale Field. And she just did a little low-level flyby. <laughs> Two balls and a strike. <laughs> Over the years, we've had some uh, interesting Osprey incidents. That pitch is a low. Ball three. Three balls and a strike. A 3-1 pitch. Swings and fouls it off. Full count. Struck him out. Two away.
Garcia at the plate for the Saints. Takes the first pitch, ball one. Two balls and no strikes. That pitch is inside. Three and zero. Oh. Walked him on four pitches. Still a no hitter, but there goes the perfect game. That'll bring up Matthew Burke with a runner at first for the first time for the Saints. It's only been one hit in this game. Both pitchers pitching very, very well. This pitch is driven high into left center field. Holiday on the run, in the gap, makes the catch. And that's three away. One runner stranded, but no run score. Five innings complete. Still a no hitter for the Bears. And no score on either side. This is Flagler of college baseball. Saints have a new pitcher. Jake Hill will be the new pitcher. Another left-hander, Hill. A junior. Excuse me, left-hander, right-hander. Another right-hander. Your other left-hand, Bill. Jake Hill is a uh, redshirt sophomore, 6'4", 200 pounds from Cumming, Georgia, Forsyth Central High School. Blake Bean will step in his fourth at bat of the game. Or excuse me, third bat of the game. Top of the sixth inning. First pitch is popped and a base hit into left center field. Newland chases it down out there and gets it back in. So that's a single for Bean. He's now one for three. Two hits last night. That brings up Cole Laskowski. Cole is 0 for 2. Couple of fly balls, one to center and one to left. Pitch was high for a ball. And the 1-0 pitch, he lays down a bunt, pops up a bunt. Third baseman hustling in, Clap makes the catch. Nice play by Taylor, anticipating that. Showed bunt a little too early, I guess, because Taylor was in a really good position to make that play. Couldn't make 
throw to first to double up the runner, but there's one away. Go one pitch from the stretch. High. One one pitch is low and away. Two balls and a strike. Hill continues from the stretch. That pitch is into the net, foul ball. Pitch has popped up, and that's going to be out of play. Two two is foul ball. Two two call, fouled off. Count remains two balls and two strikes. One out, one on for the Bears here in the top of the sixth inning. What a nice day for baseball. Breeze still blowing in from left field. But a bright, sunshiny day. Oh, nice play, a line drive snagged by Jay and a double play, doubled the runner off first. Nicely done, Mason Gray, what a play. So we remain scoreless after five and a half here at Drysdale Field. This is Flagler College Baseball.
Jackson Wentworth at the plate. First two pitch he sees. Two balls, no strikes. Grounded out his last time up to shortstop. The 2-0 pitch is pulled foul. Dylan Chapa on the plate on the mound, excuse me, for the Bears. Still has a no hitter in his pocket. Just one walk allowed. Strikeout, 4-1 away. That is five strikeouts for Dylan Chapa. Number nine hitter, Caden Kresak at the plate, takes the first pitch, strike one. That pitch is pulled toward first foul. Fly ball, left field. Bean makes the play over there on the line. Two away. Got to bring up the top of the order. Trey Newland. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. There is no score here at Drysdale Field. Newland, a couple of ground ball, ground ball outs so far in this game. Did have a hit last night, he's one for four. That pitch is whoo, right into the Flagler dugout. That's exciting. Yikes. And the one one pitch is hit into left field, but it's flagged down out there by Blackledge. And that retires the side. No runs, no hits, and no errors here in the bottom of the sixth inning for the Saints. After six complete, we are scoreless here at Drysdale Field. This is Flagler College Baseball. Top of inning seven, and Tyler McPeak will step in for the Bears, facing Jake Hill, and he takes the first pitch just below the three and five on the middle of his back. McPeak goes to first hit by pitch. That'll bring up the number five hitter, Owen Blackledge. 
Owen singled his last at bat. He's one for two. It's three hits in this series so far, and he bunts it toward first. That's a nice bunt, and he is safe at first. Burke a little slow getting across. The ball was a little slow getting to Wellborn. Base hit. Base hit. That brings up Evans. Zach is 0 for 2. Also showing bunt. Drops a nice one right in front of the mound. Hill Fields throws the first. It's a sacrifice bunt as both runners advance. So runners at second and third with one out. That brings up Bryce Stober. Bryce is 0 for 2. He did reach on an error in the second inning. And he shows bunt, pops it up. Over the screen, caught by a fan in the stands. Nice play. That's a nice. Hey, he, had a, he didn't get to keep that one either, does he? That gun it. Oh, one count. He pops this one up. Foul. So it's 0 and 2. So the count 0 and 2. Two runners on, both in scoring position. Infield drawn in. Pitch outside and high, one and two. Top of inning seven, still scoreless, shows a bunt, puts it on to suicide squeeze. And the runner is safe at home. A runner at first, is, a batter is out at first. Runner at second advances to third, and the first run is scored. A little bit of small ball there, and it worked. Very nicely done. All of a sudden, we had a bunning clinic breakout, and they were pretty good at it, too. So two away with a runner at third now. First pitch, strike one. Another bunch shown, fouls it off. They had four homers last night, and they just had four bunts in a row. Score them when you can, huh? Count no balls, two strikes, two outs. That pitch is swung on and popped into center field. Fitzgerald fades back to his left, makes the catch, and the side is retired. But one run scores on some nice small ball activity by the Bears here in the top of the seventh, and it's one nothing after six and a half. This is Flagler College Baseball.
Runner at second, the first hit of the game for the Saints. Taylor Clapp, the cleanup hitter, doubled. Sorry about the audio difficulty. Y yeah, it was pilot error, John. Sorry. Runner at first is safe. No. Called him out. Close play, but that's out number three. So a runner stranded at second. No run score. The Saints pick up their first hit, but it's still a one nothing ball game after seven. Lenore Ryan leads Flagler. This is Flagler College Baseball. Got a new pinch hitter. See if I got a pronunciation guide here for Sal's name. Caracato is the pronunciation on the guide here from Lenore Ryan. Sal Caracato. He leads off here in the top of the eighth inning. It's one nothing Bears. Hit a monster home run yesterday. Big guy. That pitch is inside. Says it hit his pants. Umpire said nope. He was a DH in yesterday's game. Had the homer. Scored a couple times. Drove in one. Big cut. I was listed at 6'3", 240, and I, looking at him, I got to believe it. Two balls and two strikes. Infield is over playing him to pull. Full count. Jake Hill on the mound for the Saints. From the stretch, the pitch is pulled foul. Norine scored in the top of the seventh inning. Walked him. We're going to get a pinch runner for Sal. The pinch runner is Miller St. John, Jr. Miller listed as a redshirt junior from Waxham, North Carolina. Waxhaw, excuse me. Waxhaw, North Carolina. Gaston Community College. And we're going to get a pitch and change as Dave Barnett goes out. This is Dave's final season here at Flagler. He's going to retire. At least that's the rumor. 
I think he started it. The new pitcher. Clay Callen, number 22 in your program, a junior from Venice, Florida, and Daytona State College comes in. Only three hits allowed so far by Flagler pitching. They scored their run on four bunts. Four home runs last night and four bunts today. Check the audio. Are we? Get, is it? What's it? It says. It says we got some. Okay. Mary, uh, the boss lost it and she can't get it back. She's refreshed it twice. Just, just wanted to check. Okay. Runner at first, showing a bunt again. Popped it to the pitcher, double play ball. Nope, didn't get him. Excellent play by Cal as he comes off the mound. There's one away. So Bean pops up to the pitcher. For out number one, and that brings up the number two batter, Cole Laskowski. Cole popped up the third base his last time up. He's 0 for 3. That pitch is in the air toward left field. It's going to drop in the left center gap. That'll put a runner at third. That's a double. Second and third with one out. One ball, no strikes. To Cole Stanford. One out, two runners in scoring position for the Bears. Pitch outside. 2-0. and oh. Count two balls and a strike. One nothing ball game at the moment. Popped it up. Infield drawn in with the runner at third and just one out. Count even at two. Outfield straight away.
Callen from the stretch. Crossfire delivery gets away from the catcher and runner from third will score. Runner from second advances to third. So the pinch runner came in to score. St. John, who came in as a pinch runner for Caracato. That is run number two. Still runner at third, off speed pitch, nice one. Swing and a miss with a strikeout for out number two. That'll bring up McPeak. Thought it was hit by a pitch twice. Scored the last time he was hit by a pitch. That was in the seventh. First pitch, ball one. Low and away. Two balls and no strikes. Two outs, runner at third. Clay Callen on the mound, third pitcher of the day for the Saints. He delivers, and it's inside and low, and it's three balls, no strikes. The wind has died down here at Drysdale Field. A pretty nice breeze blowing in from left most of the game. Callen from the stretch, crossfire delivery, almost sidearm, but he walks in. So a strikeout followed by a walk, and there's two runners on. Another mound visit, but there's nobody warming up in the bullpen. Well, I take it back. He just got up and started throwing. Long discussion out there on the mound. Pitching coach Jeff Pelkey on the uh, went, <laughs> went out for the discussion. Owen Blackledge will bat next for the Bears. Two outs, two on here in the top of the eighth inning. Off speed pitch outside, ball one. Another pitch outside. Two balls and no strikes, the pitch. Another one outside. All three pitches pretty much the same location, giving him a lot of respect at the plate. This young man can uh, 
There you go. Got a strike. Blackledge taking that pitch all the way. Another one. Strike two. Feeding him nothing but off-speed pitches, trying to keep it on the outside part of the plate. Payoff pitch, fouled straight back. Count remains full. Infield straight away with two outs. Pitch pulled foul. First base side. Two nothing ball game. Bears lead it here in the top of the eighth inning. Bases loaded on the walk. Zach Evans scheduled to bat next. First pitch to Evans is low, ball one. Strike one. That ball is hit high into center field. Fitzgerald under it, makes the catch. Side is retired, three runners stranded, but one run scores here in the top of the eighth, and it's 2 nothing Lenore Ryan after seven and a half. This is Bill Topping, this is Flagler, college baseball. Miller St. John, who came in as a pinch runner for the Bears, is now going to play third base for Garrett Sanner. So Donovan Garcia will step in to lead things off for the Saints here in the bottom of the eighth inning. It's Bears two, Saints zero at this point. Right 
I missed another change. What happened? I can't make out the numbers with that camo uniforms they have on. Okay, we've had a couple of defensive changes. We'll try and work them in here in a minute. That's a pop fly, foul ball, first base side, and an out. So one away as Garcia pops up. And that'll bring up Matthew Burke, who uh, is sitless today with a strikeout. Call a strike. Had a couple of changes in the outfield here, trying to figure out who went where. Yeah, camo uniforms make uh, fine, and especially with the small numbers on the front of the jerseys. Ground ball in the hole. Shortstop makes the play. Evans throw to first, two away. Jackson Wentworth will step in for the Saints. Jackson 0 for 2 with a strikeout. No balls, two strikes. Michael Rivas on the mound. Line drive, base hit, left field. So Wentworth doubles, or excuse me, singles to left. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Caden Kresek. Caden 0 for 2. Got a pinch runner at first. Will Taylor is the pinch runner at first. For Wentworth. Two balls and no strikes. Three balls and no strikes. That's a called strike one. Pitch runner breaks for second. He is safe. Ball four and it didn't matter. Difficult to watch the runner breaking for second and the umpire saying ball four. 
least I got at least I didn't miss all of it. I, mean, I got one guy right, John. I did fifty percent. That's good. That's bat five hundred. You'd be leading the league. So the center fielder moved to right field, and we have a new center fielder. I'm sorry, left field. Yes, yeah, center fielder moved to left field, and we have a new center fielder. And the center fielder's name would be? Okay. Number, f number four, Giovanni Wiggs. Okay, very good. Thank you, John. Oh one the count on Newland. Trey Newland he fouls that one off. Trey 0 for three. Had one hit last night. O2 is outside. Breeze is picked up again, coming in from left field. Coming in from the beach. One, two pitch outside, two balls, two strikes. Or is it first and second for the Saints? Line drive to the third baseman and he makes the play. St. John who just came in to the game to play third. Ends the inning for the Saints. Two runners stranded, no run score here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Score is Lamore Ryan two and Flagler zero. This is Flagler College Baseball. Top of inning number nine. Bears lead at two nothing. And the first pitch is a ball one. Bryce Stober at the plate. 
Swings at an off-speed pitch. Ball one, strike one. Bryce is 0 for 3, but he did reach base on an error back in the second. One, two pitches popped to the left field, shallow left field, shortstop, Gray calls forward and makes the catch. Nice range, one away. That brings up Kai Holiday. Holiday walked in the second. It's the only time he got on base, he's 0 for 2. First pitch is ball one. Ball outside. Pitch caught the outside corner. It's strike one. Two balls and a strike. And he walked him. So one out walk will bring up Miller St. John, who came in as a pinch runner in the eighth inning. Throw over to first. Throw to first. He's in there safely. Had him off the bag, but uh, the throw was a little low. That was close. Two balls, no strikes. Runner breaks for second. Ball gets away from the catcher. And that's a stolen base for Holiday. Got a 3 0 count on the batter. He takes a strike at the knees. Walked him, runners at first and second. Giovanni Wiggs will bat next. He's playing center field. He's in the leadoff slot in the lineup for Bean. There's a pitcher up in the bullpen for the Saints. He's not throwing at the moment. Watching the mound to see if he's going to be called in, I imagine. (laughs) 
Wiggs played last night's game. Had one at bat. He did not get a hit. <coughs> Excuse me. First ball, first pitch. O oh, two count. Struck him out. Two away. That'll bring up Cole Laskowski. Laskowski doubled in his last at bat. Looks like we're bringing in a pinch hitter as Dave heads for the mound. Anthony Nofi will be the new pitcher. Junior left-hander. Nofi is a junior from Hanover, Massachusetts, and from Hanover High School. Lefty. Five nine one seventy according to the stat sheet here. Yeah. So a new pitcher for the Saints with two outs and a runner at second base and a runner at first base. Bears scored a run in the seventh and a run in the eighth to lead it 2 nothing. John, you get us a couple spare minutes. You need to go fix those lights in the scoreboard out there, buddy. Yeah, I think those are the wrong kind. It's become the it's it's the press box slash storehouse. S still better than the press box last time I worked at the University of Miami. They were remodeling the place, and they actually gave me a cement block to sit on. No, uh, no, there wasn't a trash can. The trash can would have been an improvement. That pitch is low and outside. No, it was a real cement block. The guy working with me almost turned around and went home. He said, you've got to be kidding me. Where are we? Three balls and no strikes. Uh, uh, I was talking to FSU play-by-play -play guy, he said that uh, Virginia was the same way until their last, until they finally kicked the program back in gear again. Yeah, there was the last year they were getting ready to close the program. He was sitting in the in the bleachers with the fans, which is never a good idea. 
Yeah, I know. Got a 3 0 count. Umpire breaks up the discussion there at the mound. Melfi working from the stretch. Called strike two. I'm sorry, strike one. It's a 3 1 count. That pitch is hit into center field. Fitzgerald having to back up a bit. It's over his head off this glove. That's going to score two. They got the runner tongue up between second and third. Excuse me, the batter. And he is out. So the side is retired, but two runs score on the fly ball to center field. And Fitzgerald could not flag down. It's a hard hit ball, line drive more than a fly ball, and just got his glove on it, waiting for the official scorekeeper. That's a base hit. So a double scores two, and it's 4 nothing. Bears after eight and a half innings. This is Flagler College Baseball. New pitcher for the Bears, Spencer Floyd, number six in your program. Six one, 175 junior at a made North Carolina. Mason Gray will lead off the bottom of the ninth for the Saints. They need four to tie and five to go home happy. See what they can do against this new pitcher. Spencer Floyd. First pitch, ball one. And then it's pitch on the inside part of the plate for strike one. Bears have four. Saints have nothing at the moment. It's time for the Bears. I mean, time for the Saints, excuse me. Foul ball into the screen. Count one ball and two strikes. That pitch is high and inside. The 
is a doubleheader today. Second game is seven innings. It'll start about 45 minutes or so after the first game ends. We'll sign off and sign back on. Are we going to, what are we doing, John? Yeah. Sign off and sign back on. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. That's redundant. Could be innocuous, too, now that I think about it. Fly ball. Left field. Foul territory. No stay in play. And St. John makes the catch. One away. That brings up Luke Welburn. Let's take a clap on deck. Got a piece of it, but a foul ball makes it strike two. O2 two count. Fly ball, left field, toward the line. And Holiday makes the catch two away. That'll bring up Taylor Clapp, third baseman. Taylor doubled his last time up. Takes the first pitch, ball one. Reich, two and one. Saints down to their last out. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the ninth. Floyd from the stretch. Fly ball to center. No, he's not even going to make it to center. Pops up in the infield. The shortstop, Evans, makes the play. That's the ball game. Bears lead it, win it 4 nothing. Four runs on five hits. The Saints had two hits, one error, and a complete game. Good pitching on both sides, really. The last four runs were quickly earned in the sex seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. But the Saints come up short. The Bears win their second game of this series. This is Bill Topping for Flagler College Baseball. We'll be back with the second half, second part of this doubleheader in about 40, 45 minutes.